So if you are a parent of a college student, I want you to be honest with me. When you were in college, were you actually on your best behavior? Or were there things that you did that you knew you shouldn't have done, but you did it anyway because you were an adult, you were in college, and you were doing your own thing? Well, I guarantee you, if you also have children who are in college, they're probably feeling the same way. Now that they are adults, they want to live their own lives. They want to make their own decisions. And some of the decisions that they make are probably not going to be the best decision. The only issue is that before they turn 18, if they were in school and you know they did certain things that they weren't supposed to do, they'd probably simply just go to the principal's office, maybe get suspended, or maybe they got written up in school and that was the end of it. But now that they're 18, if they do get into trouble or they do certain things that they're not supposed to do, especially on a college campus, they're likely going to get arrested not a slap on the wrist visit to the principal's office. So if you have a child in college, there are three top conversations that I think are extremely important to have with your child before they set foot on that college campus. So I'm gonna share those things with you in just a second. So I am criminal defense attorney, Hannah Akintoye, and you probably already know, if you have ever been in college or if you have ever experienced a college campus, you know that there are a lot of people who are out there doing things that they're not supposed to do. And they're making either good friends or they're making bad friends. They're either making good decisions or they're making decisions that if they get caught, it could land them in a jail cell. So uh, there are three top conversations that I think are extremely important to keep your child from getting arrested. I know that you train your child in the way that they should have been raised and I know that you've taught them to the best of your abilities, but trust me when I say this, that independence takes on a world of its own. No matter how well you think you've raised somebody, you'll be surprised at some of the decisions that they make simply because they are now independent and able to make those decisions on their own. So here we go. The first conversation that I think it's important to have with your college child is about drinking, especially underage drinking and driving under the influence. The reason why I say this is because 80%, 80% of college students drink in some way, shape or form. And um, that's really four out of five students. That's a lot of students. And if your child is on a college campus, uh, whether they are somebody who is drinking or not, um, no judgment here, uh, they are likely going to run into other people who are drinking. And it's important to have that conversation with your child to ensure that um, they are doing things that are going to keep them safe and that they're not making poor decisions that could land them in, uh, in jail overnight or at a police station. So talking to your children, um, not just about drinking, but about getting behind the wheel after making a decision to drink, that is so extremely important. The second conversation that you should be having um, with your child if they are in college is fake IDs. I know that if your child is under the age of 21, they likely have a friend or friend of a friend with a fake ID or somebody who can hook them up with a fake ID. Another one that I see is uh, family members. They say, hey, you and I look alike. You know, we're sisters, we're only two years apart or we're brothers. And you know, all you have to do is just shave your facial hair and you'll look like my old ID bad idea. Uh, nowadays, it's much more difficult to get into a lot of these parties or clubs or events with a fake ID. The issue is that if you have a fake ID in your possession, whether or not you use it, that is a uh, that is an arrestable offense in most states. And what would suck more than anything is not even, not even just not getting into the party, but uh, being on your way to a party or even on your way to class and you get caught with a fake ID and now now um, they're taking you into custody for that purpose. Uh, some of these establishments are becoming very, very strict about underage drinkers and fake IDs. And so if they see it, usually there is going to be a police officer in that same vicinity. It happens on all college campuses. If you are a bar or restaurant that serves alcohol, there are likely going to be uh, police officers stationed in that area just for student safety. And what they will typically do is turn you over to the police and say hey this person has a fake ID and 
Uh, unfortunately, uh, if the police encounter you and they do see that you have a fake ID, um, they will likely take you or your child uh, into custody. All right, and so number three on my list is talking to your child in college about what consent means before engaging in an intimate sexual act. A lot of the times, parents are talking to their children in college about uh, how not to get pregnant or uh, they're talking to their child about how not to make somebody or get somebody pregnant, but they're not having the conversation about what happens before you even get there, what happens and what it means for somebody to actually engage or consent to engaging in a sexual uh, intimate act. And this is where, and this is why we have a lot of crimes on campus uh, when it comes to sex crimes. Uh, keep in mind that if your child is convicted of a sex crime, they can very, very well be uh, forced to register as a sex offender. And it could be a mistake. It could be an honest mistake. Oh, well, I thought this person uh, was into it or I thought this person really wanted this and it turns out they actually didn't. They maybe have thought that you were threatening them or they maybe thought um, that you had a quote unquote weapon on yourself and now uh, a sexual assault turns into a higher graded offense like a rape crime. You don't, and I repeat, you don't want your child to ever have to go through the trauma of being charged with a crime. That's the worst place that you want to be as a parent. And so having the conversation about what yes means and an unequivocal yes, that this is what I want to do is so important if you're a parent of a college student. So I hope that list was helpful to you. If you found this list helpful, I actually have a full list of 10 things that you want to talk to your college child about. And um, this is a list of things that are important for you to know how to ensure that your child in college is not going to uh, get arrested and essentially not going to destroy their future career. So if you're interested in that list of the top 10 things to talk about with your college child before they enter college, go ahead and uh, check out the description below and it will give you instructions on how to grab that free ebook and that free resource for you. So if you have any questions, always feel free to message me here down below or on my website, mydclaw.com, and I'm always happy to chat with you further. Stay safe and take care. Thank you.